The Supreme Court in Massachusetts has ruled that taking upskirt pictures in a public place, like a bus or a train, is completely legal. Now, this is a case involving someone by the name of Michael Robertson, who was caught in a sting taking upskirt pictures. He was actually charged in 2010, and the lower courts ruled that what he was doing was illegal under the state's peeping Tom laws. However, it went to the higher court, the Supreme Court in Massachusetts, and they ruled, no, the law doesn't actually apply to this particular case. Now, it isn't because the judge agreed with what he was doing, they just feel that the wording of the law did not include his behavior. So the so-called Peeping Tom law under which he was charged did not actually apply in this case, reversing the ruling of a lower court. The law says it is illegal to photograph, videotape, or electronically surveil someone who is nude or partially nude with the intent to secretly conduct or hide such activity when the other person in such place and circumstance would have a reasonable expectation of privacy and not being so photographed, videotaped, or electronically surveilled, and without that person's knowledge and consent. So the, the judges in this case ruled that, hey, you know what? Since uh, you are in a public place as a woman, you have no reasonable ex expectation of privacy. And on top of that, since you are wearing panties, it's totally legal because you're not nude or partially nude. So this gives him the ability to take these pictures, and it's 100% legal. Okay, so now there's actually one and a half have other parts of that. The judge, to be clear, said, since you're not nude or partially nude, it actually doesn't even matter whether you're wearing panties or not. Mm -hmm. They talked in the uh, ruling about it doesn't matter what's underneath your skirt or not underneath your skirt. Can I, can I read it uh, sure. verbatim? I found this really interesting. A female passenger on an MBTA trolley who is wearing a skirt, dress, or the like covering these parts of her body is not a person who is, quote, partially nude, no matter what is or is not underneath the skirt by way of underwear or other clothing. So just because you're wearing a skirt, you're not considered partially nude, even if you're not wearing underwear, under, the, uh, under their interpretation of their Peeping Tom law. Okay, so I think that that's fair. Uh, now, the problem is the law, right? So, and by the way, I'm not saying the whole thing is fair. I'm saying it's fair that they're not partially nude if they're wearing a skirt. That doesn't seem like a right Couldn't ruling. you make the argument that you are partially nude if you're not wearing You could panties? make the argument that you're partially nude on anything. I mean, my hands are exposed, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so are we going to say women wearing skirts are partially nude, but women wearing shorts are not partially nude? Yeah, but you can't take an upskirt picture of someone wearing shorts. And look, I understand that they didn't. No, make you can under this ruling. Oh yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah. No, no, no. But it's much harder to take up. Oh, I see. You you're saying physically it's harder. Yes, that's right. what I mean. Like when you're wearing shorts, it's nearly impossible to get you know images of that person's genitals unless like you f they're really baggy and you secretly find a way to get the camera in there. But this is this is really dangerous. I mean, this is an issue with the way the law is worded. So right now the House is going to propose new legislation that would cover all bases, and I'm really happy that they're doing that. But right now, at this very moment, guys can go ahead and take as many upskirt pictures as they want, and women just have to deal with it. So there was three things, in, and you mentioned two of them. They're in a public place. The a woman is not nude or partially nude. Plus, he's not hiding what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was the third part of the ruling. So it, there's an irony there, which is that if you're a brazen asshole and you literally like get in and like on the floor of the subway and start taking pictures up of a girl's skirt, you're even more covered. You're less guilty, right? And you want to know what's been happening with uh, this type of activity in Massachusetts since this case happened? Um, more and more people are taking upskirt photos. And oh, after how this, shocking! Yeah, and now that this makes even bigger news, they're going to do it even more. So they got to change the law. This, this, you can't have people going around like. And it's not just pictures, they can take video. video. Like and they're just like shoving video cameras under people's skirts. It's it's crazy. It, you're gonna have a breakdown of order. It, it's obviously the wrong way to go, but right now in Massachusetts, perfectly legal. And you know, for all the people out there that are loving this because they think that it's awesome that you can take upskirt pictures, just think about like your sister, your female cousins, just family members, your own girlfriend. Do you really want to know that some guy can take these types of pictures, violate them like that? I mean, post them all over the internet, do whatever the hell they want. It's disgusting. If I was in Massachusetts right now, I'd be wearing pants at all times until the house passes or you know, the, the lawmakers in the state pass the new law. Yeah, I mean, think about that for one last thought there. Some creepy guy is going to take video and then put it on the internet of your daughter? 
you tell me you're not going to break that camera? You're telling me we're not going to have a breakdown of uh, order on the streets? I mean, there's going to be, unfortunately, physical assaults, like, if they keep that up, right? I mean... Oh, there, there would be a fucking physical assault. There's no question about that. <laughs> Come, come to me with that fucking camera. Okay, I, you know, look, I, I, we don't want to encourage any of that. We don't want to encourage either yeah, side yeah. of that, right? But it's, it's asking for trouble, man. So they got to fix it as soon as possible.